Hey, helping you all get ready for Valentine's Day with these cherry lemon banana cream delights. All right, so what you're gonna need is vanilla wafers, vanilla jello pudding mix. Okay, then you're gonna need cream cheese. And you're also gonna need cherry pie filling and condensed milk and lemon juice and also bananas. All right, so to start off, you wanna go ahead and prep your cream cheese. So I left it standing on the um, counter till it was almost room temperature so it could be easier to work with. So you just go ahead and break that open and then go ahead and um, cut your cream cheese into little squares so it'll be easier um, for mixing. Seems like we've been using a lot of cream cheese in the recipes lately. Hey, it works for me. Cream cheese is just like, it's an excellent addition to um, most dessert recipes. Okay, so we're gonna go get ahead and get those um, those squares done. We're gonna do that side and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, same thing on the other side. Just make some nice indentions and you have to work with it because it's cream cheese so your knife's not gonna come just straight up, right? Okay, so after you have all that done, we're gonna get ready to go ahead and put that into the bowl so we can get our ingredients going. I'll just add it right in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our vanilla pudding mix. Just put the whole package in there. And then add your condensed milk. All right, the whole can. Takes a little bit to get all of it out. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the lemon juice. And you can cut this lemon juice in half. It really depends on um, how tart you want your dessert to be it's not super tart once you just you know let it sit in the refrigerator and chill and everything it really does calm down but if you're not into tartness you might want to cut it in half just keep in mind that once you do cut the lemon juice in half that your filling will be a little bit thicker so you just want to go ahead and blend everything together like so until it's nice and creamy now at the end, of course, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and put the dessert together. But you don't wanna put it together until you get ready to serve it because you don't want your cookies to be soggy. So throw it into an airtight container and place it in the refrigerator until you're ready to go ahead and build your dessert. All right, so we're using about two cups of cookies. And we're gonna add them in here and go ahead and put the top on. All right, so once we have it secured, we're gonna go ahead and um, use the chop setting for these cookies because you don't want them to be like, um, just ground completely down. You kinda want them to be a little chunky. So you can do it like this, or you can also place your cookies into a Ziploc bag and roll a rolling pin across them, or if you don't have a rolling pin, you can also use like the back of a glass, something like that, just use what you have. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our banana ready. So of course you want to peel your banana and get all the little extra parts off that's on the banana. Okay, and then you just want to cut the banana into slices. I just, you know, set the, the end to the side and just eat it and leave it, you know, so I can have the nice pretty slices for the dessert. And just cut it like so. And after we're done with this one, go ahead and get ready to build our dessert. Okay, so we're going to start with the vanilla wafer mix. Just place that into the bottom of the glass. And I'm sorting through, trying to find the bigger chunks. And then add your mixture in there. And we're using this wine glass so we can make it nice and sexy, okay? Because, you know, this is for Valentine's Day or any other day that you feel like just having a nice, cute dessert um, at home. All right, and then we're gonna add our bananas in here. And depending on how many you're serving or how many people you, that you're serving, you can adjust how much of the pudding mixture and all of that that you add in there. It doesn't have to be quite this healthy. And go ahead and add the crumble mixture in there. Again, vanilla wafers. Okay, and then we're gonna come with the pudding mixture again. just like that and all you need is a regular spoon just to help you know pop that right in there and move it around okay let's add some more bananas 
There we go. All right, and a little bit more vanilla wafers. See how the cookies are so good. It's just kind of like a banana pudding knot. You know what I mean? The flavors work well together. You wouldn't think that they would, but they do. Okay, and then you want to leave like a half an inch to an inch. Um, mine was pretty tall, but you want to leave a half inch to an inch at the top so you can make sure you can get those cherries in there. All right, put them in there real nice. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to put a banana on top. There you are, make it really nice and cute. And that's it y'all, cherry, lemon, banana, cream delight. As always, we hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time.